What's up guys, my name is Soman and welcome to Purple Pie Studios and in this video I'm going to share with you two different ways to animate 3D parallax effect in After Effects. And you can get the project file of this video from the link in the description. So first let's jump into Adobe Illustrator and prepare the illustration file for animation in After Effects. So in Illustrator, I have separated the layers of the elements that are in different plane in the Z axis. So on the top of all the layers, we have the foreground trays, then the elements that are behind it, then the layers that are behind that, then this one, then this one, then the faraway bushes and finally the sky layer. Okay, now we are going to extend this illustration in X axis to properly animate the parallax effect. So let's select the foreground elements and we're going to press and hold the alt key and then click and drag to duplicate this layer. And while dragging, you can press and hold the shift key to snap it in that axis. And again, I'm going to duplicate this trace and place it over here. Now let's select the layer behind it and duplicate it and place it over here. Again, duplicate it. And then we are going to add some more duplicates in this side of the illustration. And like this, we are going to continue duplicating these layers. And this is how it finally going to look like. Next, we're going to expand the artboard size of this illustration. So for that, go to properties panel and make sure that all the layers are deselected. So we're going to click on edit artboard. And now when you move the cursor near the border of this artboard, you can see how the cursor is changing. And now if you click and drag, you can expand the artboard. So we're going to press and hold the alt key and then click and drag so that the artboard is expanded with equal proportions in both the directions, keeping the center point of the artboard constant. And the same thing we're going to do for the Y axis of the artboard as well. So we're going to make sure that none of the parts of the illustration are outside the artboard so that when we importing this illustration in After Effects, none of the layers gets cropped. And now let's jump into After Effects and animate the Palex effect with method 1 using the 3D cameras. Okay, now we are inside After Effects. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to change the resolution of this composition. So we're going to give the resolution 1920 by 1080. Now we're going to turn on the continuous rasterize for all these layers. And then we will select all the layers, exclude the sky layer and convert the layers into 3D layers. Then let's add a camera. Then I'm going to change the views to two view and select this window and change the default to top view. And here we have the top view with the camera. Okay, we don't need these layers as a 3D layer because these are the part of the sky, the moon, the reflections of the moon and the clouds layer. So let's select the entire sky layer and pre-comp it as sky. And we don't need to keep it as a 3D layer so that it doesn't get interacted with the 3D camera. Okay, let's select the further away bushes, press P to open the position and we're going to push the bushes layer far away in the Z axis. So we're going to slide it this side by the way, if you normally slide the values in position or in any properties, it's going to slide in a normal speed. But if you press and hold the shift key and then slide, it is going to slide in a larger values. So I would like to keep it around 2 lakh pixels or something like that. And now let's scale up this layer to around 700%. And now I would like to move the entire bushes layer a little bit down in the Y axis and you can even compare it with the original illustration if you want the most accurate result. Next, we will push back this layer in the Z axis. So again, open the position and push back in the Z axis and slide the Z axis value. So let's give it around 1,50,000 pixels. Let's scale it up to around 300% and let's move the entire layer a little bit in the Y axis. Now let's select this layer and push it back. So open the position and slide the Z axis value. So let's give it around 50,000 and let's scale it up. All right, let's move it a little bit in the Y axis. Let's give it 230% of scale. Next, we are going to push back this layer. So again, open the position and move it back in the Z axis. And we can even change the Z axis value from here as well. And let's scale it up. And for these two layers, I would like to move it near the camera. So let's start with this one and open the position and let's move this one near the camera. 
and let's scale it down and let's reposition it. And next, the foreground trees and scale it down. And now the entire environment is properly set up in 3D. Now let's add a new null object and let's parent this to the camera. I also convert it into a 3D layer. And you can see when I converted the layer into a 3D layer, how the null object actually snapped with the camera. Now what we're going to do is let's unparent it and let's parent this camera with the null object. Okay, now we don't need two views. Let's change it to one view. And now if we move the null object in Z space, you can see a proper palex effect. And you can now animate it by simply adding a keyframe on the position and just sliding it in the X axis. And now you have a nice palex effect. Of course, you can speed up or slow down by sliding the keyframes. Now to add a little camera blur, let's select the foreground tree layer and apply camera lens blur. And let's give the blur radius to around 8. Also, let's copy this effect and I would like to apply this effect to a few more layers such as the far away bushes. Let's paste it over here. And for the far away bushes, I would like to decrease the blur radius to around 5. And let's apply the same effect on this layer. So paste it over here and let's decrease it to around 2. And now you have a nice camera blur with the palex effect. And now it's time to animate the palex effect using the method 2 inside a 2D environment. So this is the extended version of the illustration that we are going to use for this example. Once imported in After Effects, again change the composition settings to 1920 by 1080. And let's lock the sky layer. And let's add keyframes on the position property of all these layers. And let's move it this side in the X axis. And let's move to about 15 seconds. And let's again select all these layers and we are going to move it this side. So in a 3D space, the objects that are near the camera appears to be moving faster compared to the objects that are far away from the camera. And we're going to apply the exact same concept over here. And now we're going to slow down the animation as we are moving down in this layer arrangement. And now you have a nice palex effect in just a matter of seconds. Again, you can add a little bit of camera blur by adding camera lens blur. So let's add some blur in the foreground elements. So let's give the blur radius to around 10. Let's copy this and let's paste it in foreground trees and let's give it around 8. And let's paste this effect on the bushes layer. Some blur on this far away trees as well. And now you have a nice palex effect with a little bit of camera blur. Alright, so that is it for this video. If you like the video, then make sure to hit the like button. If you have any doubt regarding the techniques, then make sure to comment down below. I would be happy to help you out. And if you are here for the first time, then make sure to subscribe the channel and hit the bell notification button to stay notified for all the future updates. Until then, goodbye.